Hello, I hope you're doing well. It is now August, so I wanted to do a plan with me using the um, August monthly kit for my Hobonichi cousin. This is from my shop and um, it is an underwater theme and I think it is so cute and I'm really excited. So this kit comes with these um, color coordinated headers and I just put them in the center of the days of the week. So for 20... 2022. Uh, I kind of forgot the year for a second. Um, this was the first year where I pre-designed um, the monthly kits six months at a time. So I did January to June and then um, towards like a little bit before the middle of the year, I released July to December. And I plan on doing that again for 2023. Um, and in fact, it is currently August and I have all of the themes and clip arts done for all 12 months of 2023. And all I have to do is just the formatting. And that is actually the part where it kind of stresses me out a lot. So for this year, um, of course, the Hobonichi Cousin Monthly Kits came with two pages. Some people are saying that um, they wish I included more labels or some uh, holidays or wacky holidays. So currently I'm considering on adding a third page, but I'm not too sure about that, especially because there are a lot of requests coming in for Hobonichi Weeks um, monthly kits. So, um, and also the A6 original monthly kits. And the trouble that I have with that is whenever I add a new um, kit format, so currently I have the regular larger monthly kits and also the Hobonichi Cousin. So if I add one other format, that's an additional 12 kits to stock for the shop. And that is a lot. So yeah, I definitely have to consider that. Typically in my Hobonichi Cousin, I use the Energel Clinet 0.4, but I don't know why I'm itching to use a 0.5 again, so I'm going to do that. Hmm, for some reason it looks like my ink is skipping a little bit. It's not too bad, so I'll just keep this because I really like this um, orange to coral to pink color. And um, I know that I have a running injury, so I shouldn't be running, um, and I'm still on my break, but I'm hoping that around mid-August I can start running again, so that is why I am putting that down. I basically do the same thing um, every month in my sidebar, so I'm just going to follow that, put down an important header, and then these dot stickers that come with the kit. And then the appointment header. Oops, this is a little crooked. Um, and I typically don't have too many appointments, so uh, let's just put down three of these. And then the last thing that I do are the highlights of the month. So I use one of these flags. And also like one of these boxes. So currently it is only August 5th. Um, so I likely won't be able to fill out this entire sidebar, but I'm just gonna put down some important things. Okay, so this is a pretty busy month, so I ended up filling up quite a bit. Um, so yeah, we're going to move on to the actual monthly section now. So I've mentioned here and there that I have an assistant now, which she is super awesome. And um, I want to mark in all of her shifts. So I will be using the Zig Clean Color Dot markers. On one end, it is this like felt tip. And if you press down hard enough, it forms like a perfect dot. And then another repetitive thing that I have to mark in are my YouTube uploads and I use these labels. So on Sunday, this is going to be my August plan with me.
So some of the weeks I don't really know what my upload is going to be just yet, so I just left it blank. But for some of the videos, I already planned it out, so. Um, on this week, I plan on doing an extra video on Thursday. And then I'm not too sure what I want to do on the 28th just yet. I do have like a pending stationary haul video, but I'm waiting for packages to come in, so it really depends on the timing. Another thing that I have to mark are my paydays. I have two paydays. Um, they're not related to the Coffee Monsters Co., but I still mark them in anyways. So um, I get paid on the 10th. I can mark this in. And then the other is on the 20th, unless it's a weekend, so that is a weekend, so it would be on the 22nd. Perfect, and then I pay my personal credit card bill on the 25th. So this is a little credit card emoji. Okay, so now we're going to plan the actual days. Um, again, it is currently the 5th today, so I already know what happened basically the first week. Um, on the 1st, my good friend from high school came over and we had pizza, which was really nice. So I have this pizza sticker from Stick With Me Design, or sorry, Stick With Me Shop. I'm also going to let her in Hello August. And then on the second, it was a pretty hectic work day. So I'm going to put down this work header. But it also wasn't all work because my friend and I, we watched um, Harry Potter in the evening. So I'm going to put down this glasses sticker, which is a little too big, but that's okay. We watched Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets. That looks a little cramped. So on Wednesday, we had another um, kind of meeting about printers. So I'm going to put down this printer doodle. That was about it for Wednesday. Um, yesterday for Thursday, I went to the library basically the entire day with my friend. So I'm going to put down one of these sticky note stickers. Again, I love this orange to uh, coral color so much. So we're finally in present day. Um, so today we actually have another package coming. This is for the birthday sale and it's a very secret item. So I actually cannot write what the actual package is. So I will just write large freight shipment. And then I will be finishing um, birthday releases. And the most exciting thing for today is my friends and I, um, two of my good friends and I, we're going to have sushi for dinner to celebrate my birthday, which is tomorrow. I don't know if you guys can tell, but I don't have very many friends um, just because it's, it's hard for me to make friends in the first place. But uh, also, I'm not able to um, go out as often. So yeah, the few friends that I do have, I cherish and I love spending time with them. So I'm going to put down the sushi sticker. So that is today and then tomorrow is my birthday. Yay! Okay, I'll just use one of these balloon doodles that come with the kit. What I'm most excited about is not really my birthday, but the fact that I get to do sneak peeks. Um, on Sunday, I don't believe there's anything going on, so I will just leave that as is. Moving on to Monday the 8th, I have another package to be delivered. This is a sample package. Um, I don't think there's anything else going on on Monday either. On Tuesday, I actually have two packages for delivery. So the first is a, uh, what is the first? The first are the sticker sheets. So all of our stickers are handmade, but we recently hit 
um, the SKU number E1000, which is like obviously a special sheet. So I created a very special sheet, which is why this is being delivered. Wonderful. And then I think on Tuesday, my friend and I will be going to the library again. Um, I don't think I can fit in one of those sticky note stickers. So I will use um, one of these boxes. I couldn't fit in the word library because of the turtle. So it kind of looks weird, but that's okay. Um, moving on to Wednesday. I Okay, so I don't know whether I will be doing a sneak peek on Tuesday or Wednesday. So I'm going to just mark it on Wednesday just in case. And if I end up deciding that it'll be a day earlier, it's not too big of a deal. So let's mark that in. I don't want to like set expectations, but typically um, during all of my special bundles, there is just one item that is spectacular, in my opinion. Um, it might be because the product itself is really new and cool, or that the design's really, really good. Um, again, all in my opinion. Um, and yeah, so in my opinion, this second sneak peek is going to be the biggest thing ever. And I'm so excited. Um, moving on to Thursday, I don't believe there's anything happening on Thursday. All right, Sophia's working on this day, and I have a meeting planned about collection organization. Again, either the third sneak peek is going to be Thursday or Friday. I'm going to put down another label, and I will put down the label here, but I will draw an arrow onto Friday just in case. By the way, I have a digital Google Calendar here. So, um, I planned this out already, especially the sneak peeks are very important to me just because I really value timing. Um, I don't want to, you know, pile everything up towards the end, but also like, I want to make sure that it's evenly dispersed. On the 11th, I also have a package coming. I placed an order with Wonder Pens, so yeah. Um, I have this Mega Emoti Head Sampler, or Emoti Head's Mega Sampler, and I'm going to use this hard eyes emoji. So yeah, I don't think anything will be happening on Friday. My goal for Saturday is to finish all of the listings. So Sophia is working on this day and she's helping me with listings, which is really, really helpful. Um, well, she's helping me with listings, so it's been helpful. I don't know why I keep stating the obvious. Um, I will put that down on a little sticker. And I'm going to put down one of these um, camera doodles from Baba Bear Studios. And then on Sunday, I believe I will have another sneak peek to show. So let's put down another label sticker. And again, I haven't done the sneak peek yet, so I obviously cannot write what I'm showing. Um, but again, I already have it on my Google Calendar, so I personally know. Um, moving on to Monday, I don't believe there's anything happening on Monday, so we'll leave that as is. And then on Tuesday, I definitely have another sneak peek. And we're getting closer and closer to the actual event day. And then on Wednesday, Sophia's working, so um, I have another meeting planned on this day. And this is good, and this is gonna be just a briefing about um, our sale events. And on this day, I want to film the birthday bundle unboxing. Actually, this year, I think it's gonna be an actual box. So instead of calling it an unbundling, I can actually call it an an un 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 unboxing. Oh my lord! Thursday, I'm gonna post a video, and I have both a sneak peek and a newsletter um, to be sent. So for the sneak peek, I will put it up here. 
Okay, this looks really cramped and I don't like that. Hmm, do I keep it or do I cover it up? Awesome, and then I have to mark in the newsletter that I'm sending. I have literally the most perfect sticker. This is the breaking news emojis. Actually, let's use this um, newspaper boy. I think that is so cute. Whoops, this is a little too close. I'm pretty sure most of you have gotten it by now, but I was born in the year 2000, so um, I always just look at the last two digits to know how old I actually am. Okay, and then Sunday, um, this is going to be just like a day of emails, and typically my ritual is the day after a big event, I'm always just completely, completely pooped. I also really feel like getting out of the house. I plan on going to a local cafe to get through emails. Also, the birthday sale is going to be lasting um, two days, so I forgot about that. I'm going to use a ruler to draw an arrow. And one, two, three, okay. So, uh oh, my payday is kind of covering it, but that's okay. So this is going to be the end of birthday sale. Okay, sorry about that. I got a call and I had to take that. Um, where was I? Okay, end of birthday sale. Um, so honestly, like the past two months has been leading up to this day. So after this day, um, I'm honestly like not even sure what I'm going to do because like the weeks leading up to a big event, my sleep schedule is absolutely laughable. And so when something ends, um, for example, the birthday sale, I just crash for several days. Back when school was in session, I had to tough it out and continue studying and stuff. But um, yeah, whenever I had a weekend or something, I just completely crashed. So anyways, I don't think there will be too much going on for the next few days, although I still do have some work to do. So the birthday sale is going to have a pre-order element, so um, for the 23rd, 24th, and 25th, I need to sort out the pre-order production plan. So that is very, very important. I'm a little rushed currently because I was informed, the, the phone call was informing me that I have a special delivery coming today. It was a large freight, large freight shipment that I was talking about. So yeah, I want to make sure that I'm there to oversee it. All right, and then on the 26th, I have a jet pens. I have a jet pens delivery, which I'm very pumped about. So after all of this, I think that's all I can really plan for in August. Um, I will, like, I don't really use my monthly spread religiously, but every, like, maybe once a week, I will come back and just take a quick look and fill in any things that I know are coming up. So yeah, as you can see, the top row is pretty heavy. Actually, the top two rows are pretty heavy, but then the bottom three rows are pretty empty because I'm not too sure what's going to be happening yet. So yeah, anyways, um, I will likely show the finished spread in my August flip through. So thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys next week for another video.